It is Monday, folks, and welcome to Houston Life. February 25th already, Courtney. How I'm, you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm freaking out now that it's already, it's the end of February. End of February, and the first day of the rodeo. We are so excited. Opening day of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Gates just opened, what, about an hour and yeah. 30 seconds ago. <laughs> and our Who's friend counting? Lauren Kelly with Mix 96.5, she will take us through fun on the farm, try out some carnival rides. I don't know. She'll probably get something to eat as well. But check it out. It's quiet now, but it will be packed with people in just a little bit. Of course it's going to be packed, but it's a great day to go. I love days like this when it's overcasty, a little yeah. sprinkly, because, again, the crowds stay away. Casey Musgraves is tonight, so a yeah. lot of fun stuff coming up. Plus, also on the show, y'all, fashion inspired by last night's Academy Awards from Lady Gaga to Casey Musgraves. You know, she's not been on the circuit. She was out there last night. I know, on the red carpet last night. Yes. And at Rodeo Tonight. I know, that's Easy the way girl. you do it when you're big and you're a huge star like that. <laughs> Casey, in case you're waiting, watching us right now, totally ready willing and able to come interview to you tonight at the rodeo. <laughs> okay. um, we're sharing how you can get these celeb red carpet looks for less. They are to, to die for. Drop dead ideas. There's Octavia Spencer. You know, my favorite was uh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, she in, looked great. Julia Roberts ensemble. looked fantastic, too. Uh, Jennifer Hudson, amazing. And folks, if you are thinking of doing some upgrades to your home decor, don't let power tools intimidate you. A little Never. drill. Never hurt anybody, right? We're going to bring out the toolbox to demonstrate how you can create two DIY home projects. Get this, a plant stand and an accent wall. Stands like this, people pay big money for. They're stylish and chic, but you don't have to pay big money because you can make it yourself. We'll show you how coming up later on in the show. And before we get started today, we want to give big shout outs to our friend Heather, who's a producer here at Houston Life, and her husband Chance. They are expecting their first little baby boy, baby Grayson, and over the weekend, we threw them a little shower. We did, we all got together, and that's Heather in the middle, of course. Wearing her flower crown. Yes, wearing the flower <laughs> crown. And this was at the general public over in City Center. It was such an honor to shower her as she's a mom to be very soon just a matter of a couple weeks and there's the rest of the houston life team that's her great husband chance and beautiful cake it was a great time to all get together and not be working yeah there's the the lucky dad and you know heather is such a trooper she always works so hard and the past few weeks as she's you know <laughs> getting closer and closer to her due date heather how you doing checking in oh i'm a little uncomfortable but she never, never complains, complains. And she works hard. A lot of what you see right here on Houston Life, Heather is responsible for. Heather, uh, we love you. Good luck. And gosh, what are we going to do without you for a while while you're out on maternity leave? We'll just bring the set to you. That'll, that'll be good. Do it, take the show on the road. Like, Newborn baby. Like from the nursery? Yeah, why not? Live from Heather's nursery. Yes, everybody loves babies and puppies, so. You, you know, that's true. Yeah. That is true. Some good stuff. Okay. Well, also, we had, in addition to, I, I mean, my head is, is kind of spinning from the weekend. A lot going on. It's also, in addition to rodeo, it's gala season. It is, yeah. And you know, one of my favorite places in Houston, what is it, Courtney? Discovery Green. Discovery Green. Folks, hard to believe that just a little more than a decade, Discovery Green and all its beauty, it was just a parking lot. It was a yeah. surface parking lot in downtown right there across from the George R. Brown Convention Center. Today, it's a very different picture. So uh, a bunch of us went out, hundreds of folks, including a small group from Channel 2. We went out to celebrate. We did a little pre-party at our house because we live right near Discovery Green. Check out the red carpet that they had laid out, though. That is the art installation Gust with all the, those windmills. They put up a big tent. Dominique, our very own Dominique Saxa, she was the night's MC. But it was great multicultural performances. And folks, if you haven't been to Discovery Green, there's Christine Noel, our new anchor here at Channel 2, along with Brandon, showing off their country dance moves there. Uh, if you haven't been to Discovery Green, I can't recommend it enough. Check out their calendar online. Everything from free yoga classes to Pilates. They have restaurants, things for the kids. And they are renovating Discovery Green to add this awesome new like playground area mm -hmm. right there by the Hilton. So uh, check it out, folks. You can even donate to have your name engraved on a brick. It's very awesome. I remember uh, first doing the stories when the plans were- When it first were, opened? Yeah, well, even before even that. Before. When the plans were announced for it, and it was like a green space, yes, bring it, bring it. And we couldn't wait for it, and then already it's celebrating its 10th anniversary, which is so hard to believe, but such a great, great time 
uh, to celebrate and something awesome right in the heart of our city. You know, you and I need to go down and do, in the winter they have the ice rink, but yeah. right now they have the roller rink. Love it. Do you want to go down and yeah, do a story always. down there? Absolutely. How are you on skates? Amazing. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> do you roller blade or do you roller skate? Which one do you want me to do? I can do both. You roller blade yeah, too? Yeah, why not? So oh do you, gosh. don't you? You totally roller blade. I mean, I used to have three pairs of roller blades. Used to? Know. I don't have them anymore. Come on. I don't, I don't. I, I guess I'm more of a purist now. I like a skate. The roller blading, remember when Jonathan Adler came on the show and I yeah. made the roller blading joke and he yeah. was offended? He was slightly I offended. didn't mean to offend. That's I mean, okay. Roller blading's not that bad. I did That's it for okay. years. Okay, I'm gonna meet you at Discovery Green. Let's We're do it. Go roller skating. Yeah, I would love to do that. Yeah, you, because you gotta unwind after all the baseball your boys have been playing. Listen, it's been good stuff in the uh, in the house. Didn't uh, Connor just have like a really big moment happen this weekend? He did. Connor, the ten year old. Uh, he's eleven and a half. Oh, he's eleven and a half. Yeah, I'm he's sorry. eleven and a half. This is Thunder, Timber Grove Thunder. Uh, this is him at bat. Uh, I think in the fourth inning, hits that first pitch and. Uh, yeah, he went yard. He looks like a full-blown teenager. I know. It was a walk-off home run. These boys, we had a moment beyond that. You know, it was so cool to hug him right after that game was, was over and uh, to him to have that walk-off home run. But this group of boys right here, this 11U team, Thunder Baseball, they are incredible. This is their fourth tournament win in a row. Uh, they are just killing it. We're so proud of them. But they are such great friends, leaders, they complement one another. It's amazing. Aww. It really is the coolest thing. Good sportsmanship goes yeah. a long way. Yeah, it does. And that's the first home run that he's had for this team. So it's been a minute, and it was it was awesome. But oh, Connor. They were so excited for him, as we all were, and it's just so cool to see them winning and kicking butt. I'm glad you still have a voice after all that uh, cheering. I know, right? <laughs> nice and raspy. Raspy. Well, big yeah. congratulations Thank to Connor. You. Also, by the way, big congratulations to Operation Barbecue Relief. Oh, my word. Okay, remember, we were just chatting about this last week on the show. On uh, Friday. On Friday, because I went to see my friend William at the Operation Barbecue Cook-Off tent, and we were talking on Houston Life about how remarkable the organization is. They roll into communities after a natural disaster and ensure that everyone is fed. Guess Look what, what folks? Happened. They won the title of overall grand champion, and this is a huge, huge deal. Yeah. All right. More than 250 teams are competing for this title, so it is such a huge honor. And I know the gentleman pictured uh, in, in the photo here, there, there are so many people. For every guy you see in this photo, there are so many other folks uh, who deserve this trophy and these accolades. Very it's well deserved. It's so awesome, and it's a lot of hard work, all volunteers, and just incredible, really. Yeah, we, th well, that's the tent where we had our dinner, and I'm telling you, you guys deserve this award because it was delicious. Awesome. It was delicious. Good stuff. All right, so speaking also of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, Lauren Kelly, as we mentioned, she's already out there because the gate's just open. She's out there enjoying this lovely overcast day. She happens to be at one of the cutest spots at NRG Park. It's called Fun on the Farm. And Lauren, how much fun are you having so far? You see, if you need to get a ride down to the Houston Livestock <laughs> Show and Rodeo, I might be able to give you one, uh, but I gotta find the keys first. So we are here. I'm gonna make my way out of this John Deere tractor, and I'm gonna come hang with Phil. He is in charge here uh, at Fun on the Farm. How's it going, Phil? Oh, thank I'm you doing so great. much. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you for having us. Well, thank you for visiting Fun on the Farm this so morning. So give us a little bit of a, of a wrap up here of, of what we can expect when we bring the kiddos out to this free event. It's a great place for children of all ages to come and really see how how does this food end up on the store shelf? Like eggs and the milk. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's go all over to the dairy bar. Sort of do that? So let's okay. walk over. I'm actually going to be, I am so up, I am actually going to be doing the celebrity goat milking with Derek Shore, so I'm going to get some practice in, Phil. That's great. <laughs> Come on. We'll give you a good workout here. Okay, so this is not actual milk, though. This is going to be correct. water. We're just using water and uh, for the cows okay. and uh, for the simulation. Okay. So well, go I'm going to ask to Phil to hold this for me. Go right ahead. Here. Hey, don't oh, we're going to get some good help. Oh, <laughs> Seems to be coming out of mine. What's your name? Layla. Thank you 
Yeah, it's not an easy job to do that. <laughs> it is not. Uh, it's not an easy job. Listen, Lauren, we're going to make some audio tweaks for you guys. But you know what? You're going to need your practice because later today, as Lauren just mentioned, she and I will be going head to head in a goat milking competition. I mean, that sounds like a regular day at work, uh, right? It totally is. And uh, I've got my milking hands ready to go ready I guess to go. and you know what I have to say a lot of it's the luck of the draw when it comes to milking I, I did it once and I, I, I it was <laughs> the, go? It dried up nothing dried up yeah it was not good and you know strategic placement is also a, a big part of it because you don't want to stand behind the goat because you can get kicked in the face and if you are a loyal Houston life viewer maybe you saw the time we had goats on set well not just the goat yoga but the time we were milking goats on set and you know if they need to they do it. Drop they a do number their, two, they just do they it do right there business. while you're that's milking what they them. Do. So that's part of being an animal. But it'll be fun. It'll, it'll be a it'll lot be of a fun. Good time. Okay, guys, after the break, you don't need a red carpet budget to look fabulous. We're going to show you great looks inspired by the Academy Awards. Coming up, we'll be right back. Well, for Hollywood's big night on the red carpet, we saw head-to-toe glam created by some of the world's best designers and stylists. But since most of us don't have that movie star budget or a celebrity designer on hand to call on speed dial, we could use some guidance. Uh, that's for sure. D. Ware, stylist and CEO of Houston Shopping Tours, is in the house to show us how we can get the Oscars looks for less. Seriously, this can be done. Absolutely, and it can be done locally. We love that. We do love that. That's what I think is gr so great is you you shopped from Houston mm -hmm. for this. And great job, by the way, because this just happened last night, people. So <laughs> you worked all night to find these dresses. I love it. <laughs> Should we get so started much. with our first look? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're going to look at um, the dress that Casey Musgraves had on yesterday. Oh, it was great. This was the pink one, right? The pink tool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there she is on the red carpet ahead of her big rodeo debut tonight, right? But this is a very fluffy uh, fabric with a beautiful color choice. Dee, tell us what inspired you. Um, sure. I love the tool. The tool is a way that you can kind of really go big and be kind of unique. It, it's it's kind of tricky because you have to have the right designer and it has to be the right fit for you. And a lot of people didn't really agree with this look as far as the uh, comments were concerned. Right, but it was very Casey Musgrave. She yes. loves that look, the high collar, yeah. the detail around the wrist. That's her thing. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. I like yeah. big. <laughs> now, this, um, this is from Houston Design. Uh, Danny Wynn, right? That's right, Danny Wynn Couture. And right here we see the layers, we see the bold color also. Um, we have the beaded bodice on here, and the trains were really in. If you're gonna go big, yes. you might as well take it all the way. I think so too. And Alexandria, it looks so great on our model here. It's almost like the dress was made, created for mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. Danny Wynn is um, a couture designer, and everything is custom, so he can make it for anybody. Oh, Courtney, you hear that? <laughs> very nice. I know. Thank Alexandria, you. Alexandria, thank you very much. Okay, okay, my next favorite look, and I think you would agree, too, we talked about this, Lady Gaga, yeah, right? Yeah, fantastic. She looked so amazing and went with basic black, which was so cool. What did you think about her look? I loved it. Um, I actually looked up on this one um, because uh, Danny Wynn also had something amazing for me to pull from. I have to say I like his design maybe a little bit better. Yeah, because hers was quite plain. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that's great because right. this was channeling old Hollywood. Yeah, a right. lot of the stars did that. Um, we don't see a lot of gloves now, but I think she brought that whole breakfast at Tiffany's look home. Oh, yeah, yeah. the Audrey Hepburn thing. And her necklace, too, was last worn, yes. I understand, by Audrey, by Audrey Hepburn. Hepburn. That's right, that's right. So, the yellow diamond Tiffany's, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing how these gloves, though, above the elbow, they really create a throwback feeling. Look, exactly, exactly. It, it, it get, almost gives you a sleeve look, not really a sleeve less, mm -hmm. but any, nonetheless, this is a really big design. This dress is super heavy also. Is it really? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, the detail on that, I mean, Gaga was wearing uh, McQueen, Alexander McQueen, so to have that intricacy here, that's where that inspiration comes from. Absolutely. Those beautiful apple, those uh, flowers on there are beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Danella, Absolutely. thanks, you look fantastic. Okay, Ashley Graham is the next celebrity inspiration for you. What did yes. you like about her look? I love Ashley Graham's look because I love any opportunity to show off curves. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so when you, when I get that opportunity, I definitely make it happen. Um, and um, Ashley's look 
was very classic also. Very mermaid. I love yes. the bottom of it. It, mm -hmm. it balanced her body style. Timeless, timeless, yeah. timeless. That, that, she can pull that out of her closet 15 years from now and wear it to another red carpet. And you say that local designer Chloe Dow has That's right. created a look that is inspired by the red carpet. Yes, yes. So this is from Chloe Dow. Um, you definitely are going to see that sweetheart neckline over and over and over again. The off the shoulders is very, very flattering also. And I love a high slit. Me too. <laughs> it works for tall girls, it works for short, short girls. girls. It does, mm -hmm. it really does. And this is, again, a timeless silhouette. Yep. And talk to us about the price from Chloe, because I know the other one, Danny's were uh, mostly couture, right? Yes, yes, so those are custom. Um, this price point is actually $275. Oh, that is very doable. And I yeah. guarantee you the Zach Posen dress that Ashley Graham was wearing was not $275. Absolutely not. Maybe $275 <laughs> with a comma. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very a good. little bit, but that's, I mean, and I love this because this is a great look for any body, body style, and women should not be afraid to embrace those curves. Absolutely, absolutely. Love okay, it. now, thank you so much, Rosa, and for, first of all, we're going to talk about, before we see the last look, celebs in pink. This that's seems to be a big, popular color, also timeless, though. Absolutely. So, my translation on that was just that everyone was feeling their femininity last night. You know, pink is kind of that power cup mm -hmm. color that we're going back in. Black is more safe. But pink, you know, is coming into that power club. And I also liked it because we saw it across all age demographics. You know, young to Helen more Mirren. mature. We just saw Helen Mirren in it. Absolutely, absolutely. I love the pink. And I'm not a huge fan on it for myself, but I might have to try it out after last night. I think so. And one that we're not seeing here, Julia Roberts, of course, she presented for Best Picture, and she looked amazing in mm -hmm. pink as well. Absolutely, absolutely. And pink was different for her. Right? She's more of that classic. Navy. She has a yeah. lot of Armani. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I, I know we don't have pictures or video, uh, but Melissa McCarthy, as a full-figured woman, I thought, honestly, she was my pick for best dressed. Yes. And I love that on the red carpet now, we are seeing women of all shapes and sizes, yeah. men of all shapes and sizes, looking great and magazine worthy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I loved her look. Um, I also love the she suits. Yes. There were a lot of she suits. There were a lot of women that wore suits, tuxedo style suits. You know, I, I was loving that. Uh, we did see one in the pink. She, I forget mm -hmm. her name, but she presented as well. But beautiful, like, Nora, I love yes. her. I, I love know, her. she is so she funny. Is so funny. <laughs> so funny, but she looked amazing yeah. in that, and that had the big tie mm -hmm. and, and the bow on it, and fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so if we have a gala going and uh, we want to wear the dress again, maybe another time, different place, what color would you recommend we go to go with? Stick with sequins, black sequins? Yeah, I probably would. Okay. Absolutely. Because that's just classic. And a lot of people now are doing upselling, upcycling. Right. And for my clients, I do a lot of that. Okay. So we can kind of turn our closet into money. Yes. And, you know, pass it on. I'm a so fan. that's that black is always gonna sell. Okay. Viewer, it's great to see you. We had one last look, but we're going to save that for our Facebook page. But it's always great to see you. Thanks for the inspiration. Hey. Great to see you. Sure. And to keep up with Dee, check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website. Still ahead on Houston Life, we're talking retirement plans. More and more people are working longer and pushing back their retirement. So what does that mean for your finances? The Shakiba Report is next. career builder 53 percent of workers age 60 plus are postponing retirement wow shocking numbers so what does that mean for your plans private wealth advisor with ameriprise financial trevor shakiba joins us now to explain trevor okay so more than half of people are pushing off retirement why is this happening well i think it's a combination of things that we're going to get into um what i what i always like to start off with here because this can always be such a depressing type of statistic right. is What's the good news? Well, the good news is, is that we're living much longer, longer right. right? Technological advances, medical advances. If you go back to 1900, the average lifespan, I think, was 48 for men and 51 for women. Oh, my God. Now yeah, it's that's mid... That's depressing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's mid-80s, which is great, but that leads to number two, which is if you live longer, you got to have more money generally, right? right. And so the real... 
really, really depressing statistic is this. 30% of baby boomers have less than 50,000 saved for retirement. So what does that mean? What should we do? We're going to get into that here. But look, it's go always good to start off with good news. Right, absolutely. And I, I love this about you, Trevor, because when you are looking at the future, you look at the present, obviously. I mean, it's kind of a silly statement. But you have to say, know your numbers. Know what, what you're dealing with right now. Yeah, I think that's the starting point. So what we like to do whenever we meet with someone new is, what are you living on today? What are your expenses, net of taxes monthly? And you would be shocked how many people don't know that. They, they know what's coming in, but they don't have any idea about where, where it's going. And then when we go through that in, in a, a budget, they're always shocked about how much money they're wasting. But that's the starting point because then we can project out how much you need for retirement right. net of taxes. You got to know that, otherwise it's going to be difficult to plan to get to where you want to go. Well, and you mentioned, Trevor, the good news is that people are living longer, but if people are living longer, that means they need more money in retirement in order to support themselves, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then the other thing that we see is a lot of, a lot of people, they don't realize how much they're going to need. And so they, they'll come to us and say, you know, we live on 10000 a month now. We're really only going to need about 5000 a month in retirement. That is not true. When you have more time on your hands, you typically f find ways to spend much more money. And so it's really important to know that number and plan appropriately with inflation also, because remember, things are going to be much more expensive 15, 20, 30 years in the future. Oh, of course. Of co yeah. And I also think, too, a lot of times many of us think, well, oh, retirement, that's so far away. I have time. And that's not necessarily the case. Well, time is of the essence. And that's kind of my last point is, number uh, it, it's not hopeless. So if you're watching right now and you haven't really started, it's not hopeless, but time is of the essence because there's only a few things that we can do. You can work longer, you can save more, right? Or you have to reduce your lifestyle, which means you have to live on less. But the sooner you get started, the better. And usually it's a combination of mm -hmm. all three of those things. It's not just going to be one. So as I always talk about, you know, get help and then develop a plan. And getting help really can actually save people money, too, because maybe people are hesitant. They want to do it on their own. But you say absolutely get help because at this point in the game, especially if you haven't saved enough for retirement, being strategic is critical. Yeah, absolutely. So what I usually find from, from folks when I meet with them is that they don't make one massive mistake. It's usually a, a lot of small mistakes that add up financially. And if you can avoid those small mistakes, it adds up into a significant amount of money that you would have had, whether that's taxes or making the right allocation for your 401k. So, so find help. Of, of course, my advice is to find a certified financial planner someone that has a fiduciary obligation, which is a fancy term for doing what's in the best interest for you, mm -hmm. okay? So, and, and then when you work with a CFP, they're gonna look at your entire situation, not just one thing or invest in your money, but developing that comprehensive plan to achieve those financial goals. And what I love about you, Trevor, is you offer kind of that first sit down to really analyze what's going on and answer those questions. Yeah, you need me because you're not doing this or we can help save you money. That's what I think is great is you offer that face to face to begin with. Yeah. And so we I know that it can be a little bit intimidating. At least I've heard that maybe like going to the dentist somewhat. But we like to just offer a complimentary consultation. Come in, chat for 45 minutes to an hour, you know, open it up financially, which can be a scary thing. But at some point, you're going to have to do that right. and, and get that brutal honesty and then develop that plan moving forward and get headed in the right direction. And you guys are a judgment-free zone, so don't worry yeah. if you feel like you've kind of messed up along the way and your retirement plan doesn't look the way you want it to. Trevor's not going to judge you because you're a little behind in the game, right? Judgment-free, and just remember, I've seen it all now for 15-plus years, so you're more than likely much better off than the worst <laughs> that I've seen. <laughs> and in good hands, yes. for sure. By the way, if you would like more information on financial planning or that complimentary consultation with Trevor and the Shakiba Group, here's the number to call, 281-724-9917 or visit theshakibagroup.com. Always great to see you, Trevor. Yeah, thank you. After the break, when you visit the rodeo this year, why not face your fears on some carnival rides? <laughs> A look at one of the stops that might make your head spin. Don't worry, it won't be that bad right after this.
Well, welcome back. In addition to the food, the concerts, the shopping, and the livestock, a trip to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo wouldn't be complete without a visit to the carnival. A hundred percent. Lauren Kelly is at it again, this time at one of the brand new carnival rides. Get on up there. What are you winning? Prizes now, too? Well, I'm going to start, but let me tell you something. My record with these games has never been really good. And I'm here with Gianna and Everett, who have so graciously given me one. They gave me one to toss. Do you think that I can make it in one? I'll buy everybody a Coke if I do. Sorry. So, <laughs> I'm going to go get on this ride instead. It's called the Cyclone, and they're saving me a seat. Thanks to my buddy Ray here. I'm going to get on, and uh, hopefully, can, uh, I hope that... I hope that I can start with this. Hi, girls. Can I get on here? Okay. Um, oh, ah, I'm trusting you that this is an okay ride for me. Oh, yeah, am, Ray, am I in here good? Oh, yeah, Are you good. sure? Yeah. Should you check it one more time? Yeah, all right. Okay, I hope Ray did his job because this ride, what's your name? Talia. Talia, and what's your name? Scarlet, Talia and Scarlet have assured me that this is a fun ride and then I am buckled in safely. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> Should we wave? Wave to everybody there at Houston Life. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid it hasn't even started yet. Does this ride go fast? We don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Oh my gosh. It's going to go higher, isn't it? Is it going to go higher? Yes. Yes. Is this your favorite ride so far? Maybe. <laughs> Are you guys getting dizzy? No. <laughs> Are we going to wave again to everybody? Wave hi to Houston Life. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I hope there's a bathroom close by. <laughs> Is this going to get even higher? <laughs> Am I still buckled in good, you guys? Yes? Okay. All right. It's getting higher. And the wind is blowing in my hair. I feel okay now. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wave again to everybody in Houston Life. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to Does go. Does it oh spin, God. Lauren? Do you go? Yeah, Lauren, grab the wheel in front and spin. Have Scarlett and, and her sister. There no. you go. Oh, my God. Does it? <gasps> that takes the ride to a whole new level. Well, there you go. It's You're great. welcome. Oh, now we're moving. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. As if I wasn't dizzy enough. Thank you guys so much. No problem. Don't <laughs> drop the mic. Whatever you do, don't drop the equipment. <laughs> oh, wow. And Lauren, you know, there is a brand new ride there called the Titan. It's 17 stories tall. Oh, I didn't know we could spin. <laughs> she's not listening to you, honey. She's too dizzy. Yeah. She's, 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 she's busy Titan, spinning. I swear, I'm going to go on the Titan. You are going to do it? Titan, Cordy, if I can find it. No, oh. I have not, but I will find oh, it. Oh, you can't miss it. It and is the tallest. It's the tallest, it's the tallest one. thing there. It'll take you up to 60 miles per hour and pull full Gs. Four Gs. So don't black oh. out. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. I'm going to go eat a big meal and then get on that one. Go eat the fried butter and get on that one. That worked really well for my son. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Lauren. Thanks so much. Keep laughing, girl. Have some more fun. We're going to check back in with you one last time a little bit later in the show to sneak peek at those food vendors. I'm guessing it's something fried. Oh, I, I think that's that's a safe assumption. I'll be checking out some of those carnival fried foods later Absolutely. this afternoon Absolutely. Well. All right, coming up after the break, say goodbye to your stubborn sinus symptoms. There's technology that can map a direct pathway to your sinuses. Plus... Okay, so all morning we've had our fingers crossed. This rain will stay away. Rodeo meteorologist Eric Braid is standing by with the forecast. Eric, what are our chances? Okay, Eric, you know what? I think we're having a few technical difficulties with the green screen, so we will try to check back in with you in just a little while. But in the meantime, let's shift gears and talk about sinus issues because along with the weather comes problems for a lot of folks. Yeah, if you suffer from chronic sinus symptoms, you might have heard of the balloon sinuplasty procedure, but you might not know that Kaplan Sinus Relief offers technology that promises a safer and more accurate procedure. Dr. Michael Kaplan with Kaplan Sinus Relief is joining us now to explain along with patient Adam Clanton. Welcome to you both. 
Dr. Kaplan, let's start with you. This is something that a lot of folks are experiencing, sinus problems all year round in Houston, but sure. you guys have the solution. At Kaplan Sinus Relief, we have a way of opening up the sinuses in a very minimally invasive way, in a very safe and efficient manner. The voice going to the operating room is done in my office, and I can cure you of your sinuses, headaches, congestion, pressure. It works. So how would somebody know that they're a candidate for this? Because I hear like sinus pressure, which is, you know, kind of common for allergies, right? Or sure. snoring. How do we know that we actually need this procedure? Well, you know, if you've been taking medications, antibiotics, antihistamines, allergy medications, you're still having these symptoms. You come in the office, uh, obviously there's a physical exam, and uh, I obtain a CAT scan. I've got a CAT scan machine in my office. It gives a crystal clear picture, and I can tell if things are open. Are they blocked? And if so, I can help you with this procedure. And this video that we're seeing right now, Dr. Kaplan, so you're able to see these real-time images in order yes. to have the most effective uh, result for the patient, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Those circles that you just saw there, that represents the newest in technology that we have at Kaplan Sinus Relief using something called augmented reality. And that provides not just a picture of where I am, but that augmented reality paints a pathway of how I can get there, where to go in the safest manner possible. And opening that area. Let's That's get to absolutely. Adam's story because um, tell us where you were before you, you actually had the procedure done, but what were you experiencing? Headaches every morning was the big thing. And my wife's like, oh, what's, what's wrong with you? And we couldn't figure it out. And you know, in Houston, the weather's changing all the time. Every so second. that doesn't help. And I just figured it was something like that. Uh, but it was that kind of thing, um, sinus infections, congestion, that just shouldn't be there normally. And I uh, went to see this guy, and I'm telling you, woke up the next day and felt like I had rested better. So life-changing sure. immediately. Absolutely. And uh, the best part, he's calling me, you know, like two, three times after the procedure yeah. to check up on me on his personal cell phone. But, I mean, it really was life-changing, felt great felt rested and no headaches, anything like that. And with the way the weather is here in town, changing all the time, um, if you have something like that going on with you, you want to take care of it, obviously. Well, obviously, and that's, you know, sleeping. If you're not sleeping right. well, your whole... It affects everything. It, it really does. And so I think sure. that's probably the first thing that you hear, doctor, is like, oh, I feel rested. Oh, sure. Easily within a week or two weeks, you're consistently breathing better than you have in years. Absolutely. And is Adam's experience typical? Because a lot of folks may steer away from, you know, no one likes to go to a hospital or a surgery center. They don't have to do that with you guys. No. And immediately they're going to see results without any downtime? Uh, in my office, we offer the option of both IV sedation and or oral sedation. So I can have my anesthesiologist put a little IV in your hand, you fall asleep, 15, 20 minutes later, we're done. There's some congestion for a few days, but within a week, you're noticing huge differences. Yeah, okay, totally. and your success rate, by the way, we should point out, it's totally exceeded national averages. I know a lot of places do similar procedures, but you're really the wanna, best of the best. <laughs> I don't want to overstate this. My <laughs> success rate is around 90%. That's an accurate number. I would say that's very true. What's so yeah. great is I'm watching Adam, and he's over there going, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, like, everything that we're saying, you're agreeing to. It's and crazy like, because yeah. the talking about the office visit, it really is in and out. It's not like a, an exaggeration 30 minutes or so. I mean, there's some di sedation. you got to let that wear off, obviously. Get a ride home. But uh, you're in and out very quickly, and everything is in the office, even the consultation with the CAT scan. You don't have to go anywhere else for it. It's all inclusive right there. And the convenience part, I know, is what's important to so many people. That's second to none here. And I'll, I'll add, it's a very personal experience. Every person who undergoes this procedure has my personal cell phone. They don't go through the switchboard. They don't go through my secretary. They call me, and I'll get back with them, if not immediately, within a few minutes. But more often than not, they call me. I pick up the phone. It Looks like you called him first, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, it's I, know, I, I love now. that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, and I think what's great, too, is I think when it comes to sort of sinus issues or allergies, people just kind of deal with it and yeah, it ends sure. up be dealing with it for years and so it's one of those things that they don't really maybe pay attention to but it's totally affecting their life from A to Z. You don't have to live like this. There are solutions and in my hands I can do it in the office. You're back to work if not a day later, two days later, there's very little downtime. I feel like I'm having phantom like sinus, sinus pressure pains right now. <laughs> Is that um, a little congestion? <laughs> a little congestion. <laughs> Adam, in addition to being more well rested, what changes have you noticed in your life now? Uh, just not having, you know, you think about dealing with things that you're dealing with every single day and you realize that if you stop and think about it, you're not having, I'm not realizing, oh, I have headaches or I'm, I'm congested or I'm having to take a decongestant or something like that. 
um, if you're not thinking about it, you know, it's, that's, that's great. It's one less stress in your life, obviously. And probably not taking any of those sprays or right. allergy meds. You and know, Flonase, all that stuff that goes up your nose, right, all that kind of right. stuff. You're not, and the expense. I mean, if you think about it, you're buying that stuff all the time, too. It adds up. Oh, so. yeah, it's not cheap. Yeah, and it's not, you know, everybody thinks they don't want to go to the doctor. That's the best part about it being all-inclusive. It, it's right there, and uh, it's, it's something that's very convenient for the patient. I love it. He's got a brand new baby, so he's got to put that money in <laughs> to right. the brand new baby. I knew I wasn't going to be getting any sleep to begin with. So. Exactly. Now yeah. you're well rested, sort of, right? Yeah. Um, and just super easy if people want to come in and have that consultation in office, right? If they think they're a candidate. Absolutely. You know, it's it's about a 15 minute visit. We get the scan done. That takes about 25 seconds. I can give you a immediate answer. Wow. So you can scan and actually be able to show people where the problem is I coming from. I can have from. the scan done in my office the same day as the initial visit, and I can give you all the answers you're looking for at that point in time. Absolutely. Okay. Don't live in a fog, folks. If don't you don't do have it. to, schedule your appointment. Or if you'd like more information, you can call Kaplan Sinus Relief, 713-766-0204. You can also visit them online, kaplansinusrelief.com. Dr. Kaplan, Adam, thank you so much. Congrats thank on you. the baby, thank and you. glad you're sleeping better. And yeah. tell your sweet wife, Teresa, we say hi. Oh, we will. <laughs> uh, after the break, we're checking back in with Lauren Kelly at the rodeo. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Welcome back. So far today at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, Lauren Kelly has been hanging out on the farm. She checked out some carnival rides. Hopefully, Lauren, your head has stopped spinning by now. I understand you're hanging out with the man himself. There he is, Joel Cowley, CEO of the rodeo. What would you do when the rain starts than hang out with the rodeo president, Joel Cowley? How are you? So I got off the cyclone and we walked straight over here to the new right in the Titan. Joel says he's already been on it five, five times. times. Five times. So he's almost a certified astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It is incredible. 180 awesome. feet tall. It goes 60 miles an hour. It pulls four G's. You can come over the top upside down. There's a moment of weightlessness. weightlessness uh, followed by your eyelids folding back and all oh. the blood going to your feet. Okay. It's awesome. That's great. And you know what? See that food right behind him? I'm going to go on the ride, and then I'm going to go right to that turkey leg stand <laughs> right behind us. It's going to be such a great night, Joel. First night of the rodeo. We've got Casey Musgraves tonight at the Oscars last night. So excited to kick things off with Casey Musgraves and to kick off Rodeo Houston. Uh, outstanding rodeo action, followed by a tremendous, tremendous concert. And uh, some new things in the stadium this year. We have two flying cameras, one on the north end, one on the south south end give a great perspective of rodeo but they'll also cover the concert like never before seen and don't forget that five pointed star stage is just magnificent the new stage so this is the second year we used it our, our folks put it together in two days last week and there were no leftover parts so that's a good sign, <laughs> <It's a positive laughs> sign. one last question for my casey musgrave fans can you get in and tell her to wear the same pink dress that she wore last night i'm expecting it okay. uh, i'm going to be disappointed if she's not wearing it and i will bring that to her attention all right you should go in there and say, hey, Casey, we're ready for you. Here's a turkey leg and a funnel cake, and we'll get you on the ride. <laughs> yeah, but it's exciting to kick things off. The 2019 show is going to be outstanding. 21 days this year. Because 21 of, days because uh, of? Because of George Straits. We had to add a day today with uh, with Rodeo, and that meant the carnival, or the uh, barbecue, rather, had to come out in one night, which they did. Uh, our folks, our committees, our staff, just Herculean tasks to get ready for opening day. I kind of watched a time lapse on social media. It's just incredible. Well, Joel, thank you so much. We're looking forward to it. You guys are going to have an amazing crowd. Don't let the rain shower scare you. They're going to move in and out. And then Casey Musgrave tonight, the rodeo, the wine garden, all the things are here and open. Yes, and it's fortunate that the world's largest livestock show and the world's largest rodeo are both indoors. Huh. Look at that. <laughs> We've got you covered, literally. Joel Kelly, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Thank you, guys. Derek and Courtney, back to you. Yeah, and Lauren, you know, you got to save some of that fried food for us because we're going to be out there later today, uh -huh. so keep it warm for us. I mean, I might save you some if you get here <laughs> in time. Maybe. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Great job. Thanks so much. And you know it's rodeo season. We know it's going to rain. Thanks. We know it's going to be weird weather. Just go out and have fun. And by the way, I just checked my Instagram, and I'm still waiting for KC to respond. Musgrave, KC BFF, you know? Just waiting to see. Oh, you're hoping to interview her. Yeah. Oh, I just, see you know, what's happening. Maybe well, I've been blocked by now. Hopefully you get a yes. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, folks. After the break, how to create two DIY home projects, a plant stand and an accent wall that will upgrade any space, but won't cost you too many pennies. We'll be right back.
right, so if you love home decor, but you want to save a few bucks, DIY projects can be the way to go. Blogger Lauren Beaver from Handmakes Home recently stopped by to show us how to make a plant stand and an accent wall with tons of style and just a few bucks. Lauren Beavers, welcome to Houston Life. Great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. And I love that uh, one of the demos we're going to be doing today is this beautiful mid-century planter. Yes. We have some at our house, and I've got to say they're not inexpensive, but this one only costs you 20 bucks. Yes, you see them everywhere now, especially with spring right around the corner, and they get very expensive. This one's only $20 and is super easy to do. Okay, I'm going to scoot out of the way because you guys are going to start I'll, this one. I'll work on the first I'll one. We'll get there. to you in just a second, Courtney, but tell us where we begin, Lauren. Okay, so first we're going to take our copper pipe and we're going to cut it with our pipe cutter. Um, it's super easy to use. We just insert the pipe and we are going to turn it one full turn and tighten a little bit with the knob and you're gonna go ahead. I love how you just so casually let us know we're gonna cut it with our pipe cutter. How'd you learn how to do all this? So I started um, with my own DIYs around the house. You're just gonna rotate and then tighten a little bit more. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I tighten as tighten I go, bit. right? Yes. There you Did go. I, oh. See? Just like that. Good That's job. That's it. Not bad. And also we're going to cut our wooden dowel into eight pieces for the legs. Um, after everything's cut, then we go ahead and start the assembly. On the dowel, you al already have cut these, obviously. I've already cut these, yes. It was one long dowel. Okay. Um, so now we're going to start the assembly, and all of these are going to be the little connectors that you just cut out of this pipe. Okay. And this is going to be the plant base. So we're just going to add all of these. It's like putting Powder together cheese, Legos almost. Yes. And we'll start rotating these and inserting our wooden legs. Okay. So we'll do the first four. Look how fast this is going. Like yep. And of course, we did uh, put Super those materials fast. up on the screen so our viewers, in case you want to try this at home. And then we're going to rotate this like this. And I recommend um, assembling the entire thing before you put any glue because um, you want to make sure that your plant fits and you're happy with the way that it looks. Before you solidify it too much. Exactly. So okay. now that we have this done, we're going to set our plan in, make sure it fits. And once it fits, then we'll disassemble it and reassemble it with a little drop of glue at each one of the um, joints. And then also putting a little bit in a cap and putting it on each leg. That is so cool. And Just this is like the that. pot, right, that would fit? That is the pot. Okay. It's all done, but it's a little wobbly now. A little wobbly. Don't anything. worry, I won't let go. Don't worry. Am I making you nervous? No, you're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, while well, I continue working on this, uh, let's move along right here. I know. What are we doing here? So this is a fun accent wall that you can do. Um, this is a smaller scale, obviously, but I did this in my boys' playroom, and um, all you need is some wood trim okay. and a nail gun. So, nice. Courtney, I'll have you help me out. Okay. Um, I like to start off by framing the entire wall to kind of give it a more finished look. Okay. And then I'll do the first nail to show you. Okay. We're just going to... Put this and in. you could basically make any kind of pattern that exactly, you want. Exactly, yes. So you're going to press down. Wow. Do it wow. once. So I'm okay. going to have you go. All right. Just like that. Ooh, Perfect. Nice, Courtney. And you can go so many different ways with this. You can um, paint the wall and the trim white and add some caulk to give it a more finished look. Perfect. See? Right. I love it. Yes. It needs a nail gun. So um, would this be normal size or you say make it bigger? Th so this is our wall. So um, we would do this to an entire wall. To an entire wall. Yes, as okay. an accent wall. And I yes. think we do have a final picture of what this would look like if you do the application at home. Yes. Check that out. That looks amazing. Yeah. And that's the playroom that you said? Yes, that's my boys' game room. Um, and it's just a little accent wall in there that I wanted to zhuzh up a little bit. I okay, Hand <laughs> Makes Home. This is yes. the blog that you created. Yes. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty and just jump right in. No. Um, so I started with... Um, doing my own DIY projects around the house and um, created this blog as a space to kind of show all the DIY projects I've done and tutorials for how to do them. Um, but my goal is really to show girls that you can build things yourself. You don't have to be afraid of using power tools right. or wait till your husband gets home to use a circular saw. Um, you can go online. There's so many resources out there, myself included, that'll help you teach you how to use these tools safely and um, you can build whatever you want. I also yeah. think it's great that you defy so many stereotypes because your husband, who's a former Marine, Philip, yes. you have said that sometimes when you post pictures on social media, your friends comment and say, oh, your husband did this and you just stepped <laughs> in for the photo. 
But the opposite is true, oh, right? I'm amazed at how many girls will reach out and be like, are you sure you did that? Did Phil really do all the cutting or whatever? And um, yeah, I, I do everything myself. It's, it's really fun. I think it's awesome. Of course, Hand Makes Home is the blog. And for more information, visit the scene on Houston Live section of our website. Thanks again for coming in. Thank Thanks, you so Lauren. much for having me. We'll be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, tips and tricks to help potty train your pup, like you, Tex. Also, even an app that can help predict patterns and avoid accidents. There's That's pretty cool. There's an app for everything. Plus, add a little glam to your rodeo gear. We're going to have four Western looks that are sure to turn heads. Plus, it's a big night uh, for our friends over at The Voice. Season 16 returns yeah. tonight at 8 p.m. right here on KPRC, and there's a brand new judge this season. John Legend. What is he, the only one that's won a Grammy, a Tony, an Oscar? Yeah, they call that an Eaglot or something? Something, yeah, I don't know. I well, don't know we're near it. Whatever it's called, he's very talented, and we can't wait to again? tune in. <laughs> Thanks there's so always a Houston us. connection, right? Have fun at rodeo. Oh, you have fun at rodeo. Thanks. I will text you. Want to go with me? That's Giddy a yes. Up. Bye.